Hey everybody, I'm William. I'm Tina. And we are the Nerdy Weds. And today we are continuing our play it or send it away, give it away uh, video where we are purging our congested shelves of some games that we have not, most of these games we have not even played. Yeah, so we um, pulled games from our shelf that we think we want to get rid of, but there are some where we definitely, I think we definitely know we want to get, get rid of them, but there are others that we feel we uh, might want to play at least one time or one more time to decide before deciding. So we are deciding or letting you guys know um, after talking about the game, whether we're going to give it away or give or, it a play. Yeah. So I'm ready to get started whenever you are. All right. You want to go first or we go first? Sure, I'll go first. All right. So the game that I have here is called Hex. It is a card game, and I'll read um, um, from the back of the box. It says, um, Hexes will make you do crazy things like sing when you speak, knock three times before playing a card, or sneeze when someone passes you a hex. Use defense cards to save yourself and pass hexes to your friends. Avoid hexes to win. So it is a three to six player game. It is a Hasbro uh, game. And it um, doesn't really say how long the gameplay is, but um, seems simple enough. We've never played it, probably because it is a three to six player game. So let's go ahead and decide based off that, you know, little bit of knowledge there, whether we're going to definitely give it away or whether we're going to give it, try to give it a play. All right. One, two, three. It, it, it sounds <laughs> I fun. thought you it were going to stay away. It sounds like an interesting concept. It's a party game, mm -hmm. uh, kind of, you know, for six players. Three to six players. Uh, just, we've had it longer than COVID, so we can't use COVID as an entire excuse. Yeah. But there are a lot of games out there that we haven't got to play since COVID. And this is in that list of games because it's a three to six player game. Yeah. So, and there are only two of us. Yeah, it's only two of us. I'm glad you decided you wanted to give it a, another play because um, then I don't have to sit and try to convince you. And <laughs> we're like we did the last time. We did this, but you never know. There, there might be one that you have to try to convince me. And the, some of these games are such small shelf space. Along that same note, uh, occupying a similar bit of real estate, is the game Siege. Uh, it is a two to six player game. It looks like it has a game a runtime of about thirty minutes, maybe less. The printing on the back of this box is so <laughs> teensy tiny. Uh, you know, magnifying glass to read it. I've got decent eyesight up close. Uh, Siege is a quick game of strategy and deduction for two to six players where you must use your brains and brawn to survive. As the world, as the would-be king, you control a castle of brave warriors and crafty subjects. To win, you must move your forces wisely, deduce your opponent's plans, and strike when opportunity presents. Lose your king and your opportunity to rule dissolves. Defeat your foes, and your place in history will be remembered forever. Only one can rule them all. And uh, this is plastic laminated cards in six different colors. Right. So. so let's decide in one, two, three. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a. Jeez, this is the. It's like we're gonna play every single one of these games. I love it. I, I love playing games, but. That one sounds fun, though. Even the box looks cool, and it gives me that Game of Thrones feel feeling. I think that it just ended up in the box because we haven't played it. Oh, that's, I think that's the case for a lot of these games. Mm -hmm. It just ended up in the box because we have never taken the opportunity to sit down and play it. And, yeah, I'm kind of excited to, me to too. give this one a shot. Of all the ones that we've done so far, which this is only the second one in this video, but the ones we did in the, the last one... This is the one that I'm most excited so far to play. It sounds fun. We've had that in our collection for a long time. Mm 
Okay, so let's move on to the next one, and it is called Claim It. This is a pretty big box. So this one is a two to five player. It has a 20 to 40 minute run time, and it is a game developed by Watsobo, and I'm pretty sure that I pronounced that wrong, but we're gonna roll with it. So the back of the box, it says, Stake your claim. It's gold fever and you want to have the best patch of land in these gold-filled hills. Roll the dice to claim an area as your own. Still claims from other players or double your claim to make an area permanently yours. You can keep rolling as long as you want, claiming more and more land on each roll. But watch out. If you make a bad roll, you lose all the land you claimed this turn end up with the biggest patch of land and you win. So this one has a sounds like a little bit of risk it all element and also a take that element. So push your luck and screw you to your fellow players. That's <laughs> what it, this is what it sounds like. And then also you know roll the dice. Uh, so there's a lot going on. In there this is one. there's a lot going on. Yeah. We haven't played this have we? No we have not. Okay. So um, Let's go ahead and in one, two, three. Oh, you said away. Why? You know, um, tell me why. Maybe you because I'm not like married to this one after reading the back of you it. Know, we did so. the last video. We had the pirate game. Mm -hmm. This one is worse than that. Okay. I don't know about real estate within the box, but the components are. Well, you can keep talking while I show it's them. Just, it's just a player board and some pieces. I'm a bit of a, I guess I'm a bit of an elitist. Sounds like it, babe. Sounds like you are. It's <laughs> just... I don't know. It, it, it could be fun. It could be a lot of fun. Okay, fine. Let's play it. <laughs> you just sat there and convinced yourself to play it. No, no I so just didn't want to take, take this, the up. Uh, didn't want to keep doing the argument. I was not really married to this one after reading it. It gave me enough where I was at least willing to try it because it had a little bit of um, more than one thing going on. So you had the whole risk your, your luck, but uh, so you have luck combined with a bit of strategy in it. But it at the end of the day, it did not sound that exciting. Like there didn't seem that much of a theme to it. And that one that we did in that last video, I think it was Plunder. Plunder, yeah. um, That one did, at the end of the day, it sounded like it was fun. There was a bit of, um, you know, resource uh, going on with it and a bit of push your luck and, and a bit of strategy and a bit of intrigue and all of that. Whereas this didn't have that, so I wasn't going to try to convince you to play it. I think it was more so you convinced the, me the not board, to play it, and I'd be the, cool. <laughs> the board gamer in me wants to play it, just to play it. So the board gamer in you was battling with the elitist in you, because you, you I didn't yeah. know that about you, that you seem a little bit elitist, like, oh yeah, it doesn't have, it doesn't look good, and it doesn't have that many pieces in it, so it, it's not a great the, game. The, that box <laughs> screams... Uh, unlike plunder, that that box devalues even what few components are in. I don't like that box. Is what I'm saying. Okay. Well, <laughs> like I said, um, you could have done uh, more convincing of me not to play it than I could have been able to do of convincing I, you to play it. Because I'm, I'm really not excited to play it. And it yeah, I'm not it's going to be. It's going to go on the shelf for. Another couple of years. Well, these we ones that we um, have I'm, are I'm deciding gonna you're going to stick with the way. I'm going to stick with the way. Yeah, um, but you still it just didn't look fun. You're sticking with the way, but you still didn't convince me to go move look, from from away. I, I have, you saw the components. It doesn't even look fun, and you already said it doesn't feel interesting to you. That's so true. So you already said that you were not going to want to play it. We've got all these great games like Siege and stuff going on. Not to mention the 200 games we have behind us that we love. Mm -hmm. 
And when, when are you ever going to get that game on the and table? And when you say yes to something, you're saying no, no to, to something, everything, everything else. else. And saying yes to this game that I'm not even excited about means I'm saying no to something that I love, like Viticulture or Zolkin or what have you. So, okay, I think you've convinced me. We'll, okay. This will go in the away. Going That's the way. first one, the first away of this video, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so what's your next one? My next one is Castellan. Castellan by Steve Jackson. Oh, okay. So, Steve you Jackson, like him. very Munchkins, well regarded. Right? Doesn't he do munchkins? And GURPS and, and a bunch of other stuff. No comment. Um, this game is uh, the king commands two builders to raise a great castle, but only, only one will rule it. With every play, the castle grows. Walls and tower pieces, wall and tower pieces link to form courtyards. When you finish a courtyard, you claim it with a keep. The more towers in your courtyard, the more it scores. Each turn, you'll decide how many cards to spend, where to put the pieces those cards, and where to put the pieces those cards give you. Build the greatest courtyards you can, but don't hand your opponent a chance to build a better one. Takes less. Uh, Castellium takes less than an hour to play. It is a two-player game, two to forty-five minutes, uh, or sorry, uh, thirty to forty-five minutes. Oh, okay. So it takes less than an hour to play, and then they give the, the and you got to take the uh, the estimated time on any game you're looking at, and kind of think, okay, am I playing this game the first time or the tenth time? Okay. Because the first time you're probably going to at least double. Whatever the box says is going to be your playtime. You'll get closer to it the more you play most games. But that's Castellan. And that's the back of the box. It's a pretty simple game of plastic castle pieces and cards. Okay. What do you think? So, one, two, three. Oh, wow. I know why. I <laughs> why? know why. why. I know why. There's two words. Steve Jackson. Hey, the because she does I have nothing against Steve Jackson. He he makes games and people buy them and they love them. You just hate them. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, again, this is another one of those ones where this was a pretty popular game back a few years back. We scored a copy of it pretty cheap and it sat on our shelf the entire time after we got it. So I can't I can't argue to keep it. Um, it's again, well, uh, yeah, put it in the uh, right box. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, it's a cool looking game, which is. So you can't argue to keep it. It's, it's kind of like how I was points. with claim it, huh? I can't I can't use the same excuse for that game as I did for the others because that one has great components. Okay. So why do you think we haven't played it then? I don't know. It just. Again, so many other games in our collection that mm -hmm. that some of them, you know, like you said, when you say yes to something, you're saying no to everything else. Yeah. And we have so many games that we're constantly saying yes to mm -hmm. that we neglect a lot of the games we absolutely love. Like we got Zolkin on the table the other day for the first time in, in over a year. Over a year. That's insane. And it's one of our favorite games, mm -hmm. bar none. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and talk about the next game, which is Solaris. And it is a three to five player game with an estimated play time of 60 minutes. Mm. Long game. And it is uh, developed by Queen uh, Games. And the back of the box, it says that you are... Um, your space station is equipped with high-performance solar panels called Solaris. They circle around red giants and send generated energy directly to the Earth using new laser and wormhole technology. Solaris is a strategy game won by the player who manages the tight resources the best. So it's like a resource management game. Um, seems like there's a, a lot of strategy to it, especially with it being such a long game. So let's go ahead and decide in three, two, one. Oh. All right. Why? This game has beautiful components. You can see the back of the box. Show the back of the box. 
it does have viewable components. But back when he bought this game, I researched it and I read the rules. Mm -hmm. This is the most German game to ever German. It is tedium incarnate. It is dull and just tedious and, and yeah. you're repetitious. Oh, you're doing the same okay. things. And from what I understand, this game does not offer much in the way of excitement. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, because I, um, when I bought this, I just liked the it's a beautiful look box. of it. It's very beautiful. And then I think I probably keyed into the resource management part because I like resource management and work placement games. And um, the ones that I've played since buying this game that are space driven and resource management driven, I like both the theme and the gameplay. Um, but if you're saying that it's boring like that, then, and it being a 60 minute game, well, I, I don't want to argue for it. So <laughs> we can put it over in the away. I was going to say, it could be one you could research no, and like, see for yourself. If it's saying all that, who wants to spend an hour? I watched several reviews and it, and I've never heard Tom Bassel give as bad a review for a game as he did for that one. Okay. Yeah. And Tom Bass will take it with a grain of salt. I mean, everybody has opinions. But um, My last game on this particular video is High Command. It is a War Machine game. And this is a series of games. Uh, I've seen several other versions of the game that expand upon each other. Mm hmm and this one is take command of new factions and lead your army to victory high command the game of strategic deck building conquest in the iron kingdoms as the fires of war engulf the western Amoran, the call for great leaders has never been stronger the retribution of scara and the convergence of crisis muster their forces to wage wage war on a new scale Mercenary armor, armies, oh jeez, <laughs> mm -hmm. armies of the highborn covenant and four star syndicate sell their services to the highest bidder, while also pursuing their own larger agendas. Take command of these four new factions in their battle for dom domination over the Iron Kingdoms. Will you lead your faction to victory or be crushed by the military might of your rivals? The War Machine High Command Faith and Fortune core set and introduces four new factions, Retribution of Skara, Convergence of Cry Cryrus, Kyrus, Highborn Covenant, and Four Star Syndicate. This core set is a standalone deck building card game and has everything two to four players need to play and can be customized with expansion releases for the included factions. Leverage your resources, rally your armies, and dominate your foes to set your banner above all of Western and more. So it is a deck building game uh, for two to four players. Doesn't say. Okay. All right. So you said it's a deck building for two to four players. Yep, that's what I'm getting from this, and it doesn't okay. give a length of. Uh, play on it. Okay, well, let's go ahead and decide in one, two, three. Oh. No, no, no. no, no I, mean, I only I mean, did, I only did this because it's, I thought it would be something you would want to play. Not, is, not that I actually want to play I it because like, I don't. <laughs> I like deck building games and that's what we're doing. Exactly. That's, uh, it's, it's war, uh, it, no, it's not Warhammer, it's war, is it? It's War Machine. It's War Machine, so close enough. It's deck building. It has, um, your have armies so i mean everything you were you read it reminded me of games that you like so i thought you would want to play it and i, I do i, I do want to play it yeah so i figured i, I would vote to play to see if you, you like see it. there's a lot of space in there for more decks yeah. to be added to it i've seen since i got this the drink um that i've seen several versions of this like an orc army version mm -hmm. And some other stuff uh, 
in various places. And I'm like, oh, I can get that and expand the game I've already got. So why did you stay away, though, initially? Uh, and then initially, you changed it. <laughs> because I, I thought you were going to stay away because you, you're not a big fan of deck I'm building. I'm not a big guys. fan of um, deck building unless it's like smash up. <laughs> and I'm not a, the biggest fan. I can take or leave uh, army, military games, but everything you read, I was like, that sounds like right up his alley. I'm surprised we haven't played it. It is before. sci-fi, fantasy, Warhammer, um, there's a uh, hordes. That's what it is. Hordes High Command expansion, or another standalone version. You can combine all of them together into one big game. Okay. Um, so, this is uh, published by Privateer Press. Again, it doesn't give a playtime. Okay. But uh, right. yeah, let's put it in the. Let's uh, put it in the play. play. All right. That was uh, that was six more games. Yeah. And mm-hmm. half of them went into the uh, away pile, and the other half are in the play. Okay, so, so I think we're we're making progress. making progress. We'll have to <laughs> come back with another one of these videos. So until then, uh, this has been the Nerdy West. I'm Kina. I'm William. Stay nerdy. <laughs>